So, So, uh, this is how it ended up. Let's just see so we can see the points. So, uh, if you voted need to have, it got three points. If you voted nice to have, it got one point. And if you voted the I don't know, it got two points. So, that is in the middle now, at least. <laughs> That was how it was easy to, to process. But I think it, it makes good sense. Um, so that means that we get this order. Um, so just like try to skim through them. Uh, I don't want to read out everything. But this one is uh, uh, just like uh, adding classes, right? Uh, sending invitations. Uh, remove modules. Uh, send invitations again. I think this one is for mentors. There are those for students. Uh, see the list of modules on a class. Uh, removing a class. Searching for mentors based on skills. Sending mentors a request to teach. Um, that is the duplicate of the uh, seeing modules. Um, Google sign in stuff. Name of the module. Um, GitHub <laughs> integration. So, and I don't want to go through everything, but I, I, I feel like this gives a pretty good idea of the things that we think are the most important. And I think like somewhere around the area where I reached now is like probably not that much more that we can do, especially considering that honestly the stories that I did, they were not so comprehensive. They didn't cover everything. Mm -hmm. It's pretty clear when you look at the UI, there's not a story for everything in there. On the other hand, there's a lot of stuff where there are two stories for them. <laughs> So may, I don't think it evens out at all. I think there's a lot of work that we have not identified yet. Um, so I, I feel like we should like kind of move this one around and then get an idea. Okay, how much do we think we can do for a, for the ne next coming week? Um, and maybe we will need to take something, uh, change the order a little bit, and say, okay, maybe this one was voted low, but. We, we need it in order to build something else or something. Um, so um, you already really well started out with like the uh, showing modules. It doesn't look exactly like what I'm doing on the uh, on the wireframes. It would be nice to try to adapt it so we have this uh, so, so it looks looks a little bit more like the wireframes. Mm -hmm. um, but um, and then there's, of course, all the work on the data model. I'm not sure how we're going to do, because now, now we have like about half an hour left. Uh, we definitely can't do like a big brainstorm with everyone deciding on data model stuff. Um, but maybe we can identify some of the stuff that you definitely need to coordinate with each other across teams in terms of the data model. Yeah. Um, so because like, I would, like so there, there's going to be one master project that we all need to you have your own. Yeah. And then we push the thing about like what happens. Yeah. Well, uh, we will have like uh, how many groups are we? That many groups, different projects. Um, and then there is, of course, the big question okay, so how do we take this to production? How are we going to turn this into a working application? And I think the process will be that we select the one that got the furthest and then I imagine that either some of you maybe as like a alumni effort want to try to merge some of your features into that one 
or maybe uh, we will uh, pass on some of this stuff to oncoming uh, projects. So they will be taking uh, taking that project and trying to to work con continue working on that one. Actually, um, uh, just just to just um, to understand whether I'm correct or not. So um, so every group has their own repository, or do we have only one master master repository? We have one master repository, and every group has to have a fork of that one. Yeah. And then so they have their own one. They have their own one, but then um, and then uh, they also uh, create pull requests to the master one, isn't it? Or only if it's stuff like authentication that we need to share across. Uh, but I think we can also integrate all all uh, team effort, isn't it? Like for example, you uh, some team like this this yeah, team yeah, is. Yeah, like the databases would be very useful if we go. Yeah, the let's, let's yeah. Have, have what sorry? Like oh, databases. Yeah. yeah. One yeah, and that, that's a, that's another thing because that that's what I want. Uh, well, if it's like the full database, I think that's it's, going it's to call call that. call for trouble because that means that someone in no, no, no. this group structure, structure of the database is then yes kind of that yeah so I mean like. Uh, uh, sharing the structure of the database yes. makes yes. very good sense. Mm -hmm. And I would love the fact if you could take your efforts on Knex yeah. and push that to the repo, mm -hmm. maybe without pushing all of the other stuff. Oh, just uh, the database? Yeah, yeah, maybe. But, but I think we can, we can integrate everything because we have Git, we mm -hmm. can identify who did what. And uh, regarding the evaluation, we can also take a look at which group did what. But so we, we, you know, we we, we had we had this discussion mul multiple times. We, we're not going to make one one major yeah. project. Okay. I know, I know. This means this means a lot of people will be doing some work that will not end up in in the final project, and that's that's really a shame. But everyone will have okay. a nice project that they did themselves on their on their GitHub repo, mm -hmm. um, and everyone will have the opportunity to to work further on with that and try to integrate some of the things that they did in the one that gets elected in the end. Okay. But we need to run it parallel because otherwise we'll end, it'll be too easy that we end up in a situation where uh, someone in this group is reliant on someone in this group and it, it, the communication will will be too much. But um, I, I don't think so because like like the stairs that but we are I, right now. I, I know. I understand. <laughs> we we but, tried it before. But uh, oh. the stairs right now we have. Mm -hmm. um, Joey created the initial commit with yeah. this GitHub authentication. Yeah. Now Marco fixed that part with Google yeah. authentication. Yeah. So our repo is is almost uh, stable to yeah. use that part. Let's say we integrate the calendar. Yeah. And um, if we, for example, if I put some effort and make it a stable master. So mm. then everyone can pull from this master branch mm. and everyone has authentication and calendar. And let's say uh, some other team has some other, other part, like uh, adding mm. some other things. Yeah. And they can also push to this repository. And then other people can also um, pull or fetch the same data. So everyone has the whole project. Mm. Um, that might be useful, but the main challenge here to make our master stable and this is this is not a matter of joke this is obviously a, a challenging part that joy was uh, that and that's 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 really the the thing that i'm what you know we i think we should take this discussion at, okay. at, at another time because i already, i already had this discussion with jacob and i had it with uh, with, with with daniel several mm -hmm. times I would like to reach a point where we can do this with mm -hmm. the final projects, but we're not really there yet. We need to have some infrastructure for that. We need to have exactly that. We need to have a way to know that master is stable. We need to have integration setting. We need to uh, have like the next like, project will be like this. The next we, class project will be like we will we will try to get towards that direction. Yes, uh, it's, it's kind of difficult. Exactly. Yeah. It's not difficult, but anyway, we'll we'll discuss it later. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. So All right. Let's, let's um, yeah. So um, individual projects, but we will try to 
sometimes we'll ask you for instance something like next can you take that and refactor that yeah, sure. in a way that we can put, put it in the master oh, repository right. the same way as you did with authentication and if there's some other things that we can put in the master repository and oh, then yeah, it's right. up to each of the single groups to pull from the master repository and make the necessary changes in each of your projects in order to make sure that it can work together oh, okay. um, quick question yeah probably not really asked but couldn't the master, as I know you say it's saying stable, but not even being stable, just with the features we know that he know everyone needs to work on now. Mm -hmm. Couldn't that be it, the master? Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, I, I, I don't understand. Then, what, what do you mean? Okay, uh, I know everyone can have like their own project, yeah. right? Yeah. And the master shouldn't even be the, the whole app, just like com maybe not components, but parts of yeah. App. Everyone's. Yeah. Then we know that everyone should use, like, for example, uh, all of. If that if you know that's done, yeah, you could upload that to master right, yeah. And then the uh, the that group's database model could also be uploaded to the master mm -hmm. master branch. We could then use that as a source of truth with the what's called the parts that we know that everyone should have, mm -hmm. not even being the app. Yeah, yeah, sure. Up and running. Right? Yeah. yeah, but that's uh, something sort of like that that I'm that I'm that I'm thinking. Okay. Um, yeah. And um, I and I am I'm really interested to do that. Because then, then like this team, uh, yeah. you don't, uh, you didn't work with this authentication part, but yeah. you get the uh, code that this team created, and also this team also get the idea that you have implemented, like the calendar part. So yeah. everyone uh, gets some flavor, and from from the mentor point of view, we know who did what actually, and also um, also to uh, it is easy for easy to evaluate as well. Like this is this is the what is called achievement from. Plus six. But just the main point is like we will not take turns to learn. Like if we say this, the thing already, then we will not like be able to learn like implementing in our project. So I don't understand. Yeah. So there's there's a trade-off between uh, delegating work and also knowing what's in the code base. Because if we delegate everything, then it right. means that some people are going to sit there and maybe only do database. Some people to you know, yeah. sit there and only do front end and and uh, they will not actually get to see their entire application. Yeah, right. um, that's also something to take into into account. But you will not be able to do everything anyways. Yeah. No, no, no. And I'm I'm more. You will probably just spend your two weeks on the database, for example. Well, I'm the, the main reason that I don't want to go into having like one big project that everyone contributes to is communication. And especially like ha have a look at Christmas. How many Slack messages messages were there over Christmas, right? Uh, so I know, of course, if you have like a task and you need to 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 work on getting these things to work together, you will probably be better at it. But the reality is that people are not doing this as a nine to five job. So you cannot rely on people sitting there just waiting to answer on your Slack message within minutes. And if you need to coordinate so many people like this, you just need to have have these things. Either you need to work them out beforehand, and that was our plan, to have like a really clear specification for how the project was going to be built, with like interfaces made up front and giving you a database structure and having everything set out in stone before. Uh, but that's definitely not how we're running it right now. Um, so, okay, let's, let's not spend any more time on that. Um, I think the main, the main task we have here is to try to figure out, okay, so how much can we do for next week? Um, so anyone has an idea what would be kind of like a natural progression of, of, of what you have already? Um, I think everything seems to be hinging on a database, right? So yes. you need to get at least some basic structure I agree. for that. Yeah. And to do that actually, um, what I am eager to do at least uh, mark this authentication part with that Google Calendar because those those source code are yeah. available and stable, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Because if, if your code source code is also stable and this part is also stable, yeah. so, so you want to, so you want to merge those two yeah. together and make that a starting point. Yeah. And the database is it, is it like two weeks? No, oh, yeah. You just you just so pull pull. Uh, sorry, uh, clone uh, the repository. No, I mean like, uh, there was some yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That we, that we yeah, we can we can do that later as well. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you would want to make the list. No, we only no, want no, no, the, no. the database is not the DSP git. Yeah, like, 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 like. I would modify it uh, according to you want. For example, I would create one table for user mm. to include both user, user and students. And even if that is not all taken care of beforehand, uh, you can make a migration after people yeah. start working on yeah. it. Yeah. So and can just come come of course, you need to come know the, the, if you have some code that uses those things, you might need to change some things. But that, but that's reality. Um, so, yeah. Completely agree. Database should be the most important thing to do right now. But it's again, we, we can't all do that for the next week because we're not gonna have enough time. We need to, to start thinking about exactly. the layout. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't see a lay layout. It's like there's nothing you can do with code and finding the structure. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, but um, if, if you are interested, I can explain it to you again. Um, I have highly explained uh, this thing to only mm -hmm. this team, like how we collaboratively work together. Uh, mm -hmm. Like the idea that um, do you know how to sync and fork uh, all of these things? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, in, in your case, actually, you don't even, in my opinion, you don't even know what to do. That's why I was just asking that. Do you know uh, how how this um, sync, sync and uh, get pull, pull everything to work? That's, then that's fine. So if your source code is fine, like, uh, like if your database is incomplete in my sense, then that's okay for the time being. Then keep developing and keep fixing, mm -hmm. so that other people can also get the fixed version of your database. Exactly. Yeah. Sure. Um, but but what I want to do is I want to kind of like have an idea about because I'm completely agree. We need to, you need to start building UI as well. Uh, so I kind of want to kind of outline what parts are we building, and then I'm actually thinking to take the draft here. And copy some of it into a new draft so we actually have like a wireframe of the stuff that you're building like in the first iteration because this wireframe is kind of like it's a full monty it's everything so there's like a button there that you need to think about that can't be there if i'm like um so so if if we were to so, kind of also are we going to agree at the end about some kind of technologies like for instance right yeah. now i don't think it's an option not to use uh, state management, so I mean, readers at least, or maybe something like the other, but I think readers should be fine. I, I can't imagine that there is something worse than that. Yeah, so I uh, I was going a little bit back and forth in that one. Uh, can't you can't do it on who's comfortable with it, right? Exactly, yeah. I mean, if you are not comfortable with state management at all, if you've not tried either Redux or working with context API or MobX or anything like that, then then you, you might spend just as much time learning any of these things as you would yeah. just like hand coding it. The, the other side of the, the story is that if you hand code things without using something like that, it might get really messy as well. I mean, it's uh, something that future classes are gonna work on top mm -hmm. of it. I, th I think many cross coming and going. Yeah, yeah, but but I mean, like you need to know where to to, to draw the line there because on, on one hand, that's a really great argument, and that's also why I'm saying that I don't want to dumb down the database too mm -hmm. much. No. Uh, but if we start like trying to make everything perfect mm -hmm. because it's something that someone else has to build upon, then we're not going to get anywhere. Then it's you're not a geo programmer. <laughs> So, so I think I think the, I think a state management thing is still up to you, but you're more than welcome to to sit down and, and do your favorite state management. Uh, I don't. What if like uh, right now? I don't imagine that we're going to be sharing a lot of UI components across the different teams. I think it would be more like infrastructural things, like the mm -hmm. authentication and the database and things like that. So it. Yeah, that's what I meant. The infrastructure could be shared. Yeah, but. UI could be individual. Exactly, yeah, 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 and that's more that's more or less where we're heading. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, obviously, you, I, I, I suppose you're all going to use Express and React, right? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> and MySQL. <laughs> uh, well, what if like uh, he's good at Redux? Huh? And he want to use the Redux things for the yeah. And Express and them not using it. Yeah, I, I think that's fine. 
So we can it's up to you. Choose. Yeah. You can use, like a UI is uh, like dependent on you, I guess. Like, why you you are dependent on you. <laughs> 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 or is it I that's dependent on you? <laughs> Okay, but but let's let's just get back. Let's just <laughs> let's get back to what we need to build. So in order to actually get anyone onto the platform and sign in, so we have already a lot of the uh, authentication. Um, so I don't know if we need to already get like the invitation system up and running. Is that something early on? Because that was pretty highly voted. Also the part about like adding uh, classes and modules, of course, that's also, that was actually the highest ranked ones. Uh, yeah. There's just a lot of work. It, it, I know it's just one sentence, but there's like a lot of things that needs to be done first that needs to be figured out before yeah. choosing that. Did you, for choosing what? If you want the invitation system. Yeah. It's, if you want to code everything about the invitation system, it, there, need, there needs to be sent out an email or something. Exactly, yeah. And that, that's... There's like a lot of groundwork that needs to be figured out first. Mm. So yeah. Yeah, and actually we didn't, I don't think we got that included in the uh, research, did we? No. Emails? No, I think we excluded that one, and then later we figured out we needed it. Uh, so I think, okay, so for adding new users, you're just going to hard code new users in the database? Yeah. Hmm? Uh, yeah. Or, or did, I guess just like go to the invitation. You could just use yeah. The, so the point the point is the the finished application is actually it doesn't have a sign up page. Sign up to be a student. Sign up to be a mentor, because that's something you need an invite to get. But I think what we do right now is we just skip that part entirely, and then we just do like regular old registration sign in, and that's the way it already works. And you could so. you could find. Could change that easily because one is log in, one is register login. Yeah. The other the other way is remove that register and put that in the email instead, right? Okay. Yeah. It shouldn't be too. Because bad. otherwise, I'm thinking the part that we need to hard code then is just like so when someone signs mm -hmm. in, then you just go in the database and set whether they have like admin privileges or what they have, right? Right. Because that's the main challenge that we have if we don't uh, send invites is that we don't know where do they belong. Uh, you, you, I don't. Just you can't actually. You need some sort of sign in, right? Yeah. Uh, register, yeah. Yeah. You, you, cause, because of the OAuth, you exactly. have to have exactly. that. Yeah. So it's just how you access it. It's through yeah. an email link or through exactly. the button. So. Yeah. So to start with, it's just going to be a button. So it will be so close to normal OAuth on like on any other page as possible. So we don't have to do crazy custom things. Uh, and then I think the main focus should be on. Uh, UI? Yeah, I'm getting this view to work, like this part up here, I guess. So the whole calendar thing. The calendar thing. Um, and then I think like a, uh, uh, like assigning mentors to classwork is was also pretty highly ranked, and I think that's like really critical. So I think it's about making the view that we see here and getting somewhere around here i know we're probably not going to have this entire view because there's a lot of stuff in this stuff but the main thing is this assign button here in some way and maybe it's it means that we need to wait a little bit with the uh, filtering by skill so you just see all mentors but then you see all mentors and then you have an assign button and that's like definitely part of the way right um, just a thought mm -hmm. that filtering could be done in the UI, not necessarily. Yeah, the that's UI. true. That's you true. Could yeah. Just get everything. Yep. And have a reduced function. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's that's a workable solution for the time being, but <laughs> yeah. it was just thought that it's not yeah. necessarily hard to. It could might even be all right in the finished product because I mean it's not like there's going to be thousands of mentors anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, yep. How was it? 
Yeah. So I think I'll I'll go home and I draw up a draft of this. Where I just kind of like try to cover this part and uh, only show the UI elements that you need to do that. Nothing else. I, I keep the same UI elements. I just like remove the stuff that uh, uh, that's not relevant uh, for the first iteration, right? Mm -hmm. Right, right. So for the UI, you will only have to see a wireframe, right? Yeah, I'm not going to go do a finished design. So you just improvise the design, right? Yeah. <laughs> I had an idea about doing a design, but I don't really see it happening now. So uh, um, could be a stretch goal. Huh? Could be a stretch goal if we're done before. Uh, something to, 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 to do any design? Mm -hmm. I mean, that has to be done up front. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, like, <laughs> pretty design. Yeah, yeah, so you just want to make it exactly like the wireframe here? Hand drawn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Would it be a path sense if you can share what the backend? Yeah, that could that could make sense if we had managed to organize this better. Um, because if we do that now, I think the backend will turn into like being like just a moving target. Uh, so uh, whenever we need to get that new feature in there, oh shit! Now I broke like ten components over there and there and there and there. Uh, so so that that's that's mainly what I'm worried about. Not something straight. But I think if we can get like the yeah, authentication and the uh, database with with connects built together in that main repo right now, I think we have a pretty good start for like shared shared infrastructure. And actually, we have uh, that already. Um, I, I'm just renaming the project, so yeah. At least you can you can grab the source code uh, made by Marco and uh, Joey. And hopefully, at least oh, Joe. Joe, sorry. <laughs> I cannot stand anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I always thought you were calling me and then wait. Who is that? Right. So, yeah. And also, um, at, at least the basic uh, database structure or uh, some part of their part will be available soon. So that at least everyone has a, a basic setup. Right. And uh, you, can, you can develop on the top of that your part. Oh, just copy the code, right? It, it's not a copy, it's the <laughs> code. It's, you know, it's the code. Like inspiring. Yeah, but, but we, we already have our uh, repo. Yeah, we, ha we so already we have, have our repo. repo. So okay, then you need yeah. to sync. Then you but you, did, you have your, your repo, it's a fork from the original no, repository. No, no, we all made our own. You created repo. your own. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's not the idea. You could, yeah. you could fork the We spent so much yeah. effort to make it work. Yeah. No, no, don't hurry, don't hurry. You can always. Yeah, you can just. We have our own database, like yeah. we have our. Yeah, own, like, yeah just. Uh, just replace or merge changes required. We just copy the code. Oh man, it's like a month ago we created. The code. Oh, so much. <laughs> but don't worry. This is this is a very silly issue. So don't worry about it. So it's it's a group work, and we know what to do. So not to worry about your changes. Your changes will be there for sure. No, no, we, we don't want to make a new repo. Like, we just want to pull, pull their whatever they have done. And now it, what does sync mean? The sync means that, for example, uh, now in the class 6 uh, yes. repo, uh, under this hacker feature, yeah. in, that mm -hmm. in that repo, uh, your code is available. So anyone can just uh, get cloned from, from that repo, they will get your, your source code. Okay, but you can only sync between forks. I mean, if, if I have a fork from the, your mm -hmm. repo, I can sync to a... No, no, no. The, the idea is, for example, now, I, I, I have an old repo. Yes. That that probably uh, after after uh, after March from Joe. Yes. But now I change something. But someone has changed already the master repo. Yes. Then how everyone... That is the idea here actually like if someone changes something and other people also change something then how we sync together that is the idea yeah yeah that's what like you and you like yeah. but to just to be just like, hello everyone just to clear everything so what i'm saying is just like i think you know uh, these things before but to just make sure that we are in the same place Thank you.
Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Like for example, here, yeah. for example, this is this is the hacker feature plus six. Plus six before. Okay. And in this file, there is two files, for example, text one and text two. And text two contains, for example, A, B, and C. Okay? So now, for example, user one clone this this feature. So what he get, he gets something, A, B, C. And you get to also clone this. And you get to also get A, B, C. Oh, fine. Now you just want to actually change this and make it A, B, C, D. And he, he just wants to create a pull request to the master. Mm -hmm. And the reviewer of this master branch, he reviewed that and agreed that, okay, just let's include the D. So the new repo, repo is now D. Yeah. Okay, in the meantime, user, user 2 actually changed something. Yeah. And it is actually put E. Okay? So when you try to merge, and it create a pull request, then actually, uh, after reviewing, it will be A, B, C, D, E. But the problem is, C, D, E. But the problem is, in your source code, you are missing the D part. Yeah. And either one is missing the E part. What you need to do, you need to see from the master. After syncing, you will get C, D, E. And after syncing, you will get CDE. And now everyone has the same report. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. So don't need to worry about your changes. If you sync to the original one, then everything will be fine. So Git is responsible, or Git, Git has this responsibility to make everyone happy. But you don't understand what we talk about. You're talking yeah. about We have the a completely different repo. It's not yeah. like originally yeah, from this. I understand. What you need to do, then Git clone from the master, and then just put your source code into that master. You understand what I mean? Yeah, like for example, if you don't have that or nothing else in your repo, just git clone, then you will get the basics. And then on, on that one, you just copy paste your source code. Is that is that really tough? But uh, I mean like, what, what we did before was like, all, all of them are you know, based on create React app. I don't think like the database and then all, all of these are based on create React app. Yes, it's, it's based on create uh, authentication. It's, it's, I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a different structure from yours because we rejected it. So, yeah, we, like, no, we don't reject it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, we all did like all the app. So, yeah, we so all did ours is a create React app because you need a front end to log in. So it is a create React app. Yeah, yeah. so we rejected and we like it's split it. Like yes, a, a client I mean, what like, Joe did in the, yeah. that repository structure that he uses yeah. is really good. You should, everyone should check it out at least in our current idea. Mm -hmm. uh, is I don't know what was your approach, but what's the common approach? No, I think it's what, what I would do if I were you is uh, make a fork of the what's called of the the ma master branch, right, and then put your code in it. Yeah. Is what I. Yeah, it shouldn't be too, it should yeah. be too. I mean, I mean, it's it's either it's either that or you have to manually copy all the changes that happen yeah, upstream it's, yeah. into your project. It's uh, I so I think it's better to do it do it to do it now rather than do it. So basically, it means that we will we will kind of abandon the previous. Not necessarily. It's not abandoned. It's abandoned. It's more or less abandoned. <laughs> okay. We were, were kind of like just we don't we don't use these uh, remotes anymore. Yeah. But, don't, on, on previous remote. but don't you want to uh, don't you want to get uh, those uh, like the, the best basement of the project like the authentication and the other things? We will just think about like uh, how how is they going to be yeah. done? Yeah, that's that's the way to integrate. But if you if you don't want to integrate this part, and I think. Uh, we are not forcing you to do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not like yeah, that. Right? It's not about like that point. It's like something we have our database. We have everything working. Like we have ejected the create react. Yeah. We have server. We have client. Mm -hmm. And now the uh, the part is like the one that he did with the OAuth. Like mm -hmm. we can just take the code like OAuth part and then 
we introduce in our project. Yeah. 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 That's basically what we wanted, and then also like it's uh, like according to what Saki said about like um, having our own uh, person, like our, our mm -hmm. own team uh, project. Mm -hmm. So we we kind of build on that, and our, we have our independent uh, people with like all the white and young people, and what we will be like for uh, showing the innovation. Okay, you can do that as well. Then you I mean, do the reverse way. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, so you have your source code. Now yeah. grab uh, all the changes uh, made by Joe or yeah. Marco and do that. So mm -hmm. what, what I was telling that start from their repo and build on top of that. Mm -hmm. in, your, in your part, hit your source code and just grab everything from their repo. So mm -hmm. it's I, I would almost argue, the same thing. Yeah. I would, I, the reason, I would, if I was in your situation, I would take my code and I would put that into a fork of the repo. And the reason is that it's harder to take changes that someone else did. So say Joe makes some changes to the authentication and you don't really understand them. And then you suddenly have to copy paste that and make that work inside your project. That's more difficult than doing it the other way around, taking your changes that you already did and that you understand and trying to make them fit into a another project at least that's that's what I think and the same goes for the for the database part because imagine if so if you have your own repo you kind of like cut the line between mm -hmm. you, you you cannot get upstream changes unless you copy paste them yourself right uh, so that would mean that so if you do like a database migration with the changes that we suggested um, or something in the future uh, then you have to go and take that migration and put that into your project. Actually, migrations are pretty nicely separated, but there could be other things because usually a migration comes together with some changes to how the code interacts with the data in the database and stuff like that. Yeah. So, uh, uh, I kept, a and I'm pretty sure Marco kept the uh, basic structure, but I kept it rather modular so you could, if you want to, add your own or the other way around. Should be possible. It's, it's yeah, just a I bit more work to add this to your own. Mm -hmm. If it's really just but one. The problem is when it's like if you add your then we just get chance to run. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> if I add to your then we not get chance to run. Right. Yeah. So if you add it to your own repo, you can like <coughs> it'll get through it and you'll see what what's happening, right? But if you add your own to this, it it's just this magic. Yeah. But 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 honest, I, I mean, I don't really care uh, as long as the end result is is a working project. So yeah. sit down and have a look at the code that he did and compare it with the code that you did and, and make a decision. Also, we can wait for the go full of the, uh, the work merge. And then I think it has already merged. So you already merged. Well, the no no no. Uh, uh, so like initially, it started with um, uh, what is called GitHub authentication. Now it has replaced with Google authentication. So mm -hmm. that part is up to date. Okay. If, if you clone it from here. Mm -hmm. And uh, my next plan is to integrate uh, this part, like the calendar part, uh, with this uh, this code. And if it is uh, able to do that, that, if it is possible to do that, then you will get almost uh, two, uh, two teams uh, code, mm -hmm. source code, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. so that's why I'm asking, so should we wait? No, 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 no need to wait. You can just grab uh, the source code available right now. That's okay. Well, no, but that's that's again the point because if you keep your own repository, mm -hmm. uh, then whenever they do changes, you need to override those changes, right? But if you take your changes and merge them into the existing fork, mm -hmm. it will be easier to receive changes for them, and that means that you don't have to wait. Yeah. Um, yeah, something like this. Yeah. But yeah. It, it would basically be the same result. Same thing. Right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, <laughs> just just decide what you want. Yeah, it's also because learning, you know, like because right. if we put, yeah. uh, for example, like we have our own people, and then also it would be helpful like to to learn about the project again and then also like testing and experimenting. By the way, but it's Marcus, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he did the latest code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's it's a kind of group approach, so it's a teamwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the yeah. basically. How but if you need any help, if you need any Git help, just ask me, so that yeah. I can help you uh, to the right place yeah. what to do. And if anyone has questions about authentication, please ask. I'll be happy to. My password's not right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please restart. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay.
Yeah, I'm sorry it was a little bit uh, messy today, but uh, I tried to follow up with a drawing of what we expect for the first iteration. And I go through the stories and try to rewrite them so they are not so overlapping and try to identify what stories might be missing. And then I'll follow up on that. Um, So, are you working in your mapups or materials?